everyone. Oh, almost got caught off there. Hope everyone is doing well. Was I able to pin this? Hmm. Hi, Trinity. Hi, Artie. Namaste. Happy 4 4 Angel Portal. A lot of good stuff coming in. So I do have to apologize. I tried coming on here to do a meditation and I didn't post it. So I posted it too late. So I'm here now. So I hope everyone is doing well. Greetings, Randon. 3.33. Is it 3.33? Yes, it is 3.33. Hi, Shamika. Greetings, blessings. My little phone is going off here. Hi, Philip. Thank you. Hi, Trinity. One, two, three, three. So today is a very powerful day. Um, did anybody have issues sleeping last night? So the Holy Spirit woke me up at about mm, 3, 3.30. And I woke up to light my candle and to pray. So when we have an angel portal, the false light will use it to try to derail us, deter us. So if you're being woken up in the middle of the night between three and five, that is the Lord waking you up to pray for the others. You, you all, y'all are watchmen. He sent my youngest babies and yes. Yeah. So I lit my candle at about three 30 and I lit my frankincense and I started praying. So I knew somebody, something was up to something somehow, somewhere. So the Holy Spirit gave me the message. I kept hearing that song, Living in a Material World. Somebody here is living in a karmic world, refusing to give up their karmics. You immediately started to pray. Somebody here will run out of time. The Holy Spirit showed me so. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Um, I get dropped into what's happening with the karmics, and then I share what Holy Spirit has given me. So all night, it felt like somebody was chasing me. It felt as though I was running out of time, and it was almost like I was on some kind of hamster wheel. I was running and running and running. The Holy Spirit took me back. Did anybody see the movie The Shift? It's by um, Angel Studio. Holy Spirit gave me that this morning when I was meditating where this person was living a horrible life. And finally, in the last lifetime, God finally awakened this person up to realize that he had been living a very wicked life and he needed to change his ways. And in this movie, in their reality, they had um, taken away scripture. They took away Bibles. You couldn't talk about Christ. You couldn't talk about the Bible and scripture. I feel like they're doing that right now. They're trying to do that in different countries. That's why it's so important for us to share the gospel, to lead with scripture, to share the word of God with others so that others do not get left behind. So in that movie, The Shift, this person kept repeating the same karmic life over and over and over again, except in the last life. He couldn't remember all of scripture, but there was certain scriptures that he did remember that he was sharing with the others. So if it resonates for you to watch that movie, but the Holy Spirit gave me People are going to be left behind because they're not wanting to let go of their karmics. And it's sad because we are here to help others with our light, with love. We are here to guide others with scripture. There's still so many people who don't know about God, who don't know about the Holy Spirit or Lord Jesus. And with the false light trying to ban Bibles and scripture, we have to keep sharing the word. What do you do not to be left? What do you do not to be left behind? So 
we have to be very strong with God, with our faith, keep reading scripture. I'm a deliverance minister. And the worst part, the worst thing that I've seen is people being not being able to forgive, not being able to forgive the past, not being able to forgive the people that hurt them. <coughs> Excuse me, I inhaled that frankincense. Unforgiveness keeps you stuck. It keeps you at a lower frequency. <clears throat> when we are angry at someone, we can't vibrate love. And we are here to vibrate love. <clears throat> Excuse me. Need some water here. Forgiveness for you. It's liberating. Yes. Excuse me. <clears throat> I've been lighting my frankincense all morning just to clear the energy. So as the 4-4 angel portal is a portal for us to go through with the angels, it provides protection. It provides a very strong platform. Holy Spirit said that the, the false light, the dark energies have been up doing rituals and spells. So some of you may be feeling a bit lethargic today. You're going to see that some people, their mission is to pray to hold light for the others. So we just need to keep praying. We need to keep meditating. We need to hold space. If you're being woken at that time, please light your candle, pray. It's so important between now and the eclipse on the 8th to keep lighting in the white candle to bring in the light of God. I didn't have my candle on. It's important to be the light. And when you light a white candle, it brings in the light of God. Mm -hmm. You healed Yes, we can't hold on. We give up our power when we're holding on. Yes. All right, let's clear our space. Yeah, the movie is called The Shift, and I believe it's by Angel Studio. I had to look it up. I saw it with my niece. Um, I don't like to see scary movies. It, it's not a scary movie. It's just, um, is it action? Suspense? Suspense. That's what it was. Okay, let's clear our space. If you want to close your eyes, take a deep inhale. Breathing into your heart, breathing in the breath of God, dropping your heart space. We call forward your ascended masters, your spirit guides, and angels. We are the violet flame. We are in purity of God's desire. Holy Spirit, we ask that you walk before us as a teacher and a friend, teaching us discernment with the righteous and the wicked. We ask that you pour grace into our heart and make us a pure vessel by keeping us humble. We rebuke Archangel Raphael for healing. We evoke Archangel Raphael for healing. To the south, we call forward Archangel Michael, shielding, clearing us, putting us in a pillar of God's light. To the west, we call forward Archangel Gabriel, bringing us spiritual eyes, spiritual ears, and a spiritual heart. Lord Jesus, we ask that you bring truth to all lies. Holy Spirit, we ask that you take over the reading. And we rebuke any negative energies trying to come into this reading. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we rebuke anyone attempting to block, delay our mission, our purpose, our journey with God. Holy Spirit, we ask that you bring healing and light to all darkness. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, calling in the holy angels, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, Uriel, Sandalfin, and Metatron. We declare this our sacred space. We are protected on all six corners as above as below. Take a deep inhale in your heart as above as below. Holy Spirit, we pray for anyone who is struggling, being persecuted. We pray for world leaders that you may soften their heart. May they hear the voice of God. We pray for anyone who needs a home, shelter, car, food, anyone struggling with temptation, addictions, poor health. We pray that you may deliver us from evil and lead us away from temptation. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, take a deep inhale and exhale and welcome back. All right, Holy Spirit, what did you want to start with? <clears throat> it's 1.11 a.m. in India. Already. All right, so 
the shift, they are stuck in a karmic loop. The history repeats itself. Will they be left behind? So the movie is Kevin Garner. Christopher Palaha travels across worlds and dimensions to reunite with Molly, Elizabeth Tabish, the love of his life, a mysterious adversary known as the benefactor who plays the man downstairs, Neil McDonald, appends Kevin's world as he tries to escape an alternate dystopian reality. It's kind of like the twin flame journey where I feel like some of you, some of you or somebody here was obsessed with the twin flame connection. But when you finally release the twin flame connection and you came back to God, you became in sacred union with God. You balanced out your sacred feminine, sacred energy sacred feminine, sacred masculine. What's happening here is that somebody doesn't want to leave that material world behind. They don't want to let go of the karmics. And that's why somebody here is stuck. <clears throat> that's what the Holy Spirit gave me. All right. So somebody here, their dreams are not coming true. And you are focused on self-love. Your family and your soul tribe is coming in. You have let go of pride and ego. You're paying attention to the signs. So make sure that you keep your lamp oil on. Oil represents, an owl represents wisdom. Somebody here didn't have the courage to heal. Somebody here was more addicted to lust, and that's a four. So this, a four, represents the emperor. So this person now, your emperor could feel rejected by you because they went towards temptation. So this is somebody that doesn't love themselves or didn't love you. I'm looking at these, these two pictures. Sorry about the glare. See how it's the same person in the same photo? Somebody here is trying to cord themselves to your energy field. Yeah, this person, what a web would be. It's a, it's a spider web. It's a web. Somebody's still trying to cord themselves to you. And this is somebody who has been doing some kind of ritual. Do you see this doll? And do you see how she's holding a potion? Somebody could have tried to do spell work on them so that they wouldn't come to you. You stayed very patient with God. So maybe in another past lifetime or in the past, you self-sabotage, but you didn't. And someone here didn't have the faith. So you had to move forward toward your real soulmate. Someone here isn't able to alchemize all the lower energies. They're not able to alchemize the karmics because Holy Spirit gave me the song material world, but I was hearing it as they are living in a karmic world. This person is addicted to karmics. This person didn't learn the lesson. They have a hole in their soul because of the karmics. You learned the lesson. How teachable are you? You learned the lesson by letting go of the past and not allowing this karmic cycle to repeat itself. So this is somebody that sold you out and they're sad. You kept in prayer. You kept going towards God, help from above. So you guys could have been praying to Archangel Michael, to God, Holy Spirit, to Lord Jesus. You had the courage to pray. And somebody here doesn't want to let you go, but they don't want to take off the mask. 
you've unleashed yourself. You've unleashed you stepping in your power. And somebody here kept procrastinating. So they didn't close out the cycle. History repeats itself because they didn't close out a cycle. Choosing lust again. This all led you to discover your life's purpose. And this person is still the victim. They're trapped. Their dreams are not coming true. See, this person is entrapped because of their environment. They didn't heal their inner child. This is somebody that doesn't feel that they are beautiful and there's a snake here. Whoever this person is with, they're with somebody that tells them they're, they're, they're not loving. They're not. This person is with somebody who is a true narcissist. You said what you meant. I feel like you guys were able to tell this person how you really felt. And this person, they're Phoenix. They didn't step up as the Phoenix. So you came home. You came home back to God. And the 35 breaks down to an 8. Thank you, Holy Spirit. They sold themselves out. Yeah. So this person didn't listen. You listened to the gentle gardener, which is God. When you listened, this allowed you to balance yourself out. You could be seeing a lot of 11s. You stayed in prayer. You started setting very strong intentions. A lot of you could be seeing the number 222. And somebody here was very lost. Someone could be 50. Something happened when someone's very 50. They didn't find their true north. They didn't overcome the dark night of the soul. Everything you went through allowed you to go through a metamorphosis. And this person is stuck in a dry desert. Someone was expecting you to rescue them. And they are now stuck in the, dry, the dragon's lair. This person is not happy that they can't move toward you. God is asking someone to stop doing magic. I'm hearing that like real loud and clear. See, your wishes are coming true because you removed your mask. You're standing in your truth. You had the strength. Wow. Do you see 4-4? Four, four? Today is a very powerful day because it's allowing you to balance yourself out. It's allowing you to see how strong your platform is. Letting go of ghosts. And these people are in a very deep, deep freeze. You stayed with God. And these people didn't ride... They didn't write it out. God isolated you so that you can move forward on your path. You followed the leader to God for again. You made the commitment to heal, to go to God. Spirit, wow. This is 4-4. Four, four. Hi, Brandon. Oh, thank you. Thank you for your donation. Many blessings. Thank you. This person didn't activate their spark. They didn't activate their God spark because they went to a karmic relationship. And God's been protecting your treasure. You're going to be getting your crown. You're no longer coming apart, but these people are. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah, they're still trying to do magic. Well, it said making a choice, but I heard magic. This person can't make up their mind to come back to you. And they're very sad. So they can't visit you. And you healed. So you healed the ouch. You healed the ouch with God. And here's our magic. And this dark wizard, 
Somebody here didn't read the contract. This dark wizard didn't read the contract that you were home. We have to clean our house. Meaning you got to let go of karmics. And this person, somebody here, they were refusing to let go of the karmics. That's why they're going through the storm. The bone collector is here to collect. You came to life here. And these people are stuck in the mud. You've been cracked wide open. And they're hitting rock bottom into the unknown. They didn't get the sacred wisdom that you got because of their magic. Their dreams are blocked. And you went to the sacred pool with, with God. These people aren't able to move toward you. They're repeating a karmic loop stuck in the past. They need to release their karmic environment. Thank you, Elizabeth. He is your twin unhealed. So somebody here got a mail order bride. Confirmation. This person was always putting you on the back burner. They didn't make you a priority. Outside interference. Somebody, whoever they're with, they're always fighting. Their spell work backfires. Somebody here, drunken magic backfires. So Holy Spirit, if you guys missed it from the beginning, I woke up at 3.30 in the morning to pray. When we have an angel portal, an angel number like a 4-4, the false light will use it to do their their whatever they do, their right to mutuals. Somebody last night was doing drunk magic and it backfires. When you do magic on a chosen one, an anointed one, if you forgive them and you surrender this to God, God vindicates you. So whatever they sent to you gets returned to them times 10. They have not leveled up stuck in a bad romance they're haunted right now they're haunted by the thought of you wow remember who you are this angel portal is very intense you're going through this 4-4 portal unexpected visitor so their karmic person you could have met their karmic Somebody wanted to meet you. For some of you, this karma came through. You met somebody's karmic. You are a very powerful light worker. And somebody here has PTSD. History repeats itself. So this happened in a past lifetime and you are Egyptian bloodline. This person was stuck in a karmic loop. So for some of you, this person did it to you in another past lifetime. But a lot of you healed and you walked away. So they're gossiping about this person. God sent you as the gift. And all will be revealed soon. Somebody here is stealing mail, outside interference. Someone could be blocking your email or they could literally be stealing your mail. This person took a vow with a dark, evil, wicked person. These are people sending you hate messages easily seduced, a fake person, forgery, and stuck in Carmichael. Erskul stuck and didn't learn the lesson. 
this was the message that the Holy Spirit gave me this morning. They are stuck in Karmicville, refusing to let go of their karmics, still trying to do drunken magic, spell work. These people are getting left behind. It was taboo and it was forbidden. They went the wrong way and you are over the drama. They don't want to come out of hibernation and you have bossed up. Your abundance is coming forward. Their karmic is spending all their money. This card didn't flip over. They're coming in as a lost soul. There's no sacred. They went towards an unholy, unsacred relationship. It's not a divine connection. They didn't understand the lesson. They won't ascend. They didn't expand their heart. They didn't allow themselves to be loved. This person is in a relationship out of convenience. They didn't trust the process. They didn't create space for God to step in. Your current situation, it didn't initiate their gifts. So this is somebody who isn't intuitive. Their gifts never got activated. Thank you, Holy Spirit. They didn't overcome limitations. They didn't get activated as a leader. Because this person was doing magic and is still trying to do magic. Anything else, Holy Spirit? They didn't learn the lesson. They didn't follow their heart, their heart and they didn't speak the truth. Oh, wow. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Why is this... Lost soul just flipped over. So for some of you, this was a friend. This wasn't an ex-lover. You surrendered friends. You made the commitment to your soul. Your first chakra is open your root chakra. You feel safe. Your abundance is balancing out. Someone's sacred chakra, second chakra, is closed off. The sacral chakra is about soul ties, relationships. It's about not healing your inner child. You made a stronger connection to yourself, and this is somebody who is not free. They're not original, and you forgave them because you walk with integrity you are honest. These people didn't show you grace. Wow. Can you see that this union here, the 4-4? Four, four, this came in reverse. Somebody here is out of time. The energy of union activates our ability to unite our outer and inner aspects towards a state of wholeness. As of today, somebody will be left behind. And as we get closer to the solar plexus, solar plexus, the solar eclipse, somebody won't be making it through. They're out of time. You stayed present. You reflected inward. Anything else, Holy Spirit? This person didn't express themselves. This person wasn't very nice to you. This is somebody that was making up stories, lying about you, telling other stories about you, lying, making you look bad to make themselves look good. What else, Holy Spirit? You stayed on the path. Wow. So the eight, when you break it down to the four, 
you're going through this portal, this 844 angel portal. You have rite of passage. You gained sacred wisdom. Here's our 2 2. You nourished your soul. You're attracting all good things with the 4 4 here. You've learned to set self love, requires you to set very strong and healthy boundaries. And this person isn't giving up lust. They're not giving up their karmic relationships. This person, as hard as it was for you on this path, you learned discernment. 10 is allowing you to close out a karmic cycle. I just heard a door close. You are resilient and you took action. When God told you to release them, you guys released them. And this allowed you to balance yourself out. This brought you peace and fruition. So you're blossoming. You've changed. You trusted within God. And somebody here still doesn't want to accept that there's no new beginning. Every time this person comes at you, they're losing their abundance the hunter moon. This fox here, every time they attack you, they lose a deal. Holy Spirit is saying that every time they attack you, a new karmic person comes in. There's a new devil that comes in. Every single time they attack you, it reverses back on them. You have growth. You see the beauty from within you. This person didn't see you as a sovereign being, but you are, and you see all as sovereign beings. It's a 441. You are part of God creation. You're standing in your divine empowerment. You're focused. That's what allowed you to transform. You've come to the realization that you needed to let go what was heavy to get you through this 4-4 portal. This person hasn't released fear. And you are divinely protected because you love yourself. You've surrendered your will to God. And these people are afraid. They don't have the faith. They don't have the faith of what's coming towards them now. This person will not release the, the void. They're stuck in the void. They won't surrender it. You've been assessing with gratitude. So a lot of you are starting to look at this, that this person elevated you to your awakening journey. Without this person, you wouldn't be here right now. You stayed patient with the Lord. All of these, I never noticed that you're going through the rite of passage for the 4-4 portal. This person was leading with lust, with power, with hunger. They were trying to hunt you down, but they were also gathering others to hunt you down as well. Self-reflection here. These people are not pure. They are stuck doing dark things of pleasure, a masculine energy. Oh, my goodness gracious me. Anything else? Become still to hear God in your heart. God is still needing to humble people. And 1111 came here in reverse. Keep your thoughts positive. You are manifesting your reality, a manifestation portal. The manifestation portal is closed for them. Wow. This breaks down to a four. So <clears throat> as of today, they're not going to be able to manifest. You guys are using affirmations. Hey, Bren. 
12, 12, your angels are asking you to cleanse and heal your thoughts, mind, and home. And Archangel Raphael, you guys are healers. Evoke Archangel Raphael to heal your body, mind, heart, and soul. You are one who is a healer. These people can no longer heal themselves. Anything else, Holy Spirit? You're no longer triggered by these people. 1010, a time for personal development and enlightenment. You focused on the lesson and not them, so you let them go. Some, this came in reverse. Somebody is not allowing themselves to be placed where God needs them. And protect your energy at all costs. So when I did the reading for this morning for the 4-4 Angel Portal, Archangel Michael said to protect your energy at all costs because they're still trying to lure you back in, to trick you back in. We're still in Mercury and retrograde. They don't know their soul's purpose. They can't spread their wings and you see with your heart and you listen with your heart. 444 angels are with you. You guys are earth angels. It's in your DNA. It's in your it's in your lineage. That's I'm getting chills. You know why you're here. To create heaven on earth. Mother of the soul, passion, wild love, open your heart and you're letting love in. These people can't come together. They're in a karmic relationship. They need to cleanse their soul. There's no new beginning. They are not open to change. They didn't go with the flow. The psychic abilities, acting on visions, it is destined. You're moving towards your destiny. And this is giving me Mother Mary energy. So a lot of you could be praying to Mother Mary. You went through a purification. You are a healer. You are a seer. You're in your soul's purpose. Your crown chakra has been activated. They're stagnant, feeling stuck. They need to shift. They're not in the flow. They're stuck in a karmic loop. They need to release the karmics. Otherwise, they're never going to move forward. The sacred wall is closed. You're in the healing lagoon. You have recovered. You've rejuvenated yourself. Time to heal. And that's what you did if you went towards God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. These people don't know how to awaken because they're the karmics. They can't. Somebody here, I hear like a lot, my ears get plugged and my mind gets very, they can't be still. The karmics don't want them to be still. They didn't look deeper. They didn't heal the past. You're soaring to new heights with joy. Childlike wonder fills your life. Embarking on a new adventure. I savor the wonders of the world. You're standing firm. You are noble, brave, and strong. This is somebody that you are not communicating with or they didn't tell you the truth about how they really felt and you have a fresh start. You, this 4-4 portal is opening up a new beginning for you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Fighting this connection in love with someone else. This person is always trying to strategize. They can't be trusted. Your mission involves travel. This is my deck, Chosen One Oracles. Six, and this was my deck, Earth Angel Oracles. <laughs> duck, duck, goose, playing games, expecting you to chase them. Someone didn't give you a proposal, and they were supposed to give a chosen one a proposal, but this person needed to be activated. 
They needed to let go of the karmic past, come back to God, and allow God to activate them. All eyes on the sacred feminine. So you've had an activation as a sacred feminine. Energy is fluid. Someone here is a Scorpio. Initials C J D E K L Q R S X Y Z. God is passing the baton, and these people are stuck down the rabbit hole. Three D fake awake lost. Anything else, Holy Spirit? So someone here could be a Pisces. They were warned up all night doing spell work. God returned all to center, lost their gifts. This is what the Holy Spirit gave me. Somebody was up all night doing magic for the 4-4 portal, hoping that you would wake up and want them back. Will you marry me? Someone was trying to do spell work on you so that you would take this proposal, but this is a malfunction. Your ex works with the coven. This coven needed your energy because you are a chosen one. They need you more than you need them because you're the chosen one. Your ex works with the coven. Tell us more about this coven, Holy Spirit. So something with Christmas, with no faith, who will save them now? Weakened spirit, the devil uses their vessel, mocking your faith. This person broke promises. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. And where there is sadness, joy. You're still praying for people. This person was trying to block your... Somebody here, this coven could have been trying to block communication, a Gemini. This is your third house, Mercury. We're in Mercury retrograde right now. Language, travel, education came in reverse. This coven was trying to make sure to block any communication from, or somebody here was trying to block communication from this person. You're at peace. You're at peace that you walked away. You walked away for peace in peace. This Capricorn is property of the karmic. If you change nothing, nothing will change. And you guys are star seeds. Old soul sent back to earth to transform the earth into heaven on earth. Holy Spirit gave me that message. I saw it even before this card came out. Is you guys were here to create heaven on earth. That's why you had a purpose. You had a mission to create heaven on earth. And these people, their mission was to do spell work on you. To block you at all costs. So you're over here doing your sacred purpose, and they're over here with no faith. Weak in spirit, the devil used their vessel. I know. I still keep saying it. It shocks me. You're doing what brings you passion. Health. Somebody, a Virgo here is very sick. And this cracked you wide open. 
when you, this is how you know that you're awakening and you're healing. When you guys are prophetic seers, you can see who's doing magic on you. The Lord allows us to see it so that we can forgive them. Because when we forgive them, we release them and God steps in. Four, four, protection, balance, angelic frequency. So this four, four angel portal is allowing you to vibrate with the angelics. You are divinely protected. Archangel Michael's message is that you are safe and Archangel Michael is embracing you in his wings. So if you saw my message this morning, align my will with your will, Lord Jesus. 144, you're still standing. You have cleared karma and ancestral agreements. Have no fear, Jesus is here. You have put all this, all your faith in Lord Jesus. And that's how you're moving forward. And that's how you've healed. Anything else, Holy Spirit? There's a hacker here. <clears throat> For my flock know my voice and they don't. They are working for the devil and angry at God. Only you watching you. Evil Jezebel does daily spell work on an earth sign divine masculine when he threatens to leave her. So when this Capricorn earth sign threatened to leave this Jezebel, she started doing spell work on them. They're still under spell work. You are one drop in the God, in the ocean of God's being. Have no fear, Jesus is here. Holy Spirit, tell us more about this Jezebel. This Jezebel was stuck in with a coven. A coven was working with you, with, with them, against you. A Jezebel industry, a Jezebel family. You double down on your truth. That's how you're you're getting out of it. God sends his legion of angels. Ooh, I got chills. You guys have been praying. You've been praying for protection, healing, safe passage. See, here's what people don't understand. That this eclipse energy, secret enemies are getting revealed. Secrets are coming up. Cult leaders work together. The devil sent a counterfeit to take you off your path, but they couldn't do it. Hackers between 50 and 60 in their 50s or 60s, and you have angelic bodyguards. You have a legion of angels working with you. Anything else, please? Halloween spells, rituals, magic candles backfired. They could have been doing this since Halloween. They promised your home, job, and blessings to somebody else, to the Jezebel. Lost their wings, feeding souls to the Jezebel spirit. Bad parent, bad parenting. You are missing puzzle to answer their prayers. The devil will open themselves. We read this one. Forgive our sins as we forgive those who sinned against us. These people were sinning against you and you forgave them anyway. Kush. They allowed their pain to fuel them and you allowed your pain to heal you. Let them go. Someone still needs to let them go. Tell you what they tell you what you want to hear. Brainwashing with isolation, avoidance, and fear. The karmic's mom. So this karmic's mom was working with someone against you, against this masculine energy. Ex-lover betrays you, worked with a coven toward your demise. Someone's person was working with the Jezebel, was working with the coven to take you down. 
And they did this too in another past lifetime. And that's why the Holy Spirit said history repeats itself. But this time you are out of the karmic loop. They are being left behind. They are not ready and you cannot make or will them. You cannot fix a fox who doesn't want healing. Groundbreaker. They are exiled from their community. Anything else for Spirit? Somebody's mind is too earthbound. God is removing what is in a lot, not in a line to your soul. God calls justice. They are under heavy, heavy karma. God vindicates you when you forgive them and let them go. A true narcissist will never take accountability or accept blame. Wow, that fell. Sacred feminine mask and rite passage to heal heaven on earth. They didn't think you would ever find out. Somebody here is trying to strategize to come back because they didn't think if somebody comes back, they're going to pretend like nothing happened because they're not taking accountability. Thought a card fell. Anything else? Anything else, Holy Spirit? They didn't step up. What they did to you was so painful and very traumatic, and you forgave them anyway. Somebody here is in the Caribbean. They know they hurt you. Entrapment. God's redemption, deliverance from sin, and seek Jesus. Some of you could be getting deliverances. You had to walk away from everything. 1111 11 Gateway, you have rite of passage. So you could have walked away from someone or something, 1111. 11. Ultimate betrayal, a cult leader betrays another cult leader. Be mindful, spiritual surgery is when somebody comes in your dreams and does something to you spiritually. Don't accept food, water, or anybody doing anything to you in the realms when you're sleeping. Someone brings up your name out of spite. Shadow hunter hunts shadow workers, a false angel exposed. Karmic goes to prison and now the end is near. They took the easy way out. So somebody here could be possibly going to jail sooner than later. They're going to be exposed. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Seducing spirits. Mm. What time is it? So you're standing in your power. You went inward to be your own light. And you moved on. You were divinely guided. Your angels, Archangel Michael, was divinely guiding you to move away. And these people cannot take action towards you. You still remained loving, giving, and psychic. And these people didn't awaken. The purple represents your crown chakra. You have a new beginning in relationships. You healed your inner child. You started pouring into your own self-love cup. And these people were distracted, too self-absorbed. They worked with others. They worked with other karmics and God called justice. You are the walking justice. You are the walking karma to a lot of people. That's what they didn't see. The illusions are lifted. So the four represents the emperor. You had to be your own emperor because your sacred masculine, your divine masculine never showed up. Lovers, faded. This person chose a karmic empress. And you've released them. So when you released these people from your past, 
it brought in freedom and a transformation, the Phoenix rising. 13 breaks down to 4-4 four, four portal today. You have freedom. <clears throat> They're being left behind. You're going to be successful. You're going to be recognized for your obedience. The sun, things are being illuminated. This king of wands, they didn't step up. They are being left behind. They didn't complete the mission. The mission was to break free of the karmics. Material rules. They are being served humble pie because they didn't transform and now they're stuck. We just have to keep praying and keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. Fulfillment. You have celebrations community coming up. This person lied. Now they're stuck. Confused. They took their free will and stayed with the karmics. This person sacrificed their sacred purpose to stay with the karmics. 444 four, four, freedom. I have a four o'clock client. Forgiveness, redemption. See, your redemption came when you forgave them without an apology. You are going through a rebirth. You've gone through a major awakening. You've ascended. And somebody here, their solar plexus is blocked. They didn't stand up. You trusted in God. You were patient. And you're moving towards the promise, a soulmate and a partnership. You've broken free from attachments. And these people from your past for this 4-4 four, four angel portal, they have lost celestial assistance. Angel messages, guidance, and enlightenment. That's in reverse. They don't have unity awakens. Their root chakra will be blocked. And you've transformed. Your third eye is wide open. They're not standing in their empowerment. Psychic intuition. Can you guys read the number? 4-4 four, four, wisdom. So your psychic gifts, intuition, and truth. This 4-4 four, four portal is very intense. Glory be to God, yes. Yes. Okay, let's get, let's close out. But let's get one for the divine feminine and one for the divine masculine. Holy Spirit for the divine feminine. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest in the physical. So this is going to this person is going to be a good friend nurturing the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve you and your soulmate are going to be really good friends not like the past and for the divine masculine guidance for the divine masculine holy spirit a message for you I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. When it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. Nice. Thank you, Holy Spirit. All right, guidance from Archangel Michael. For the 4-4 four, four portal. Stay grounded. So you make sure that you are grounding this energy today. So stay outside. Spend time in nature. Go earthing. Go grounding. 
heaven is working behind the scenes. Stay patient. And you help transition others. Caution. You have people around you that went the wrong way. Keep your thoughts positive. You guys are healers. Pray for discernment and a legion of angels. Keep your eyes on the lamb. Seek Jesus and keep your heart chakra open. Because earth angel, you teach love and forgiveness. You are anointed and chosen 144. Ending, this ending will bring a new beginning. Wow. All right, let's get initials and we'll close out. No initials? Oh, yes. You're welcome. So someone's initials could be KC, HC. You have Zari, Z-R-Y, T-S, it's 333. Three, three. You have P-I, PIN. You have E-O. You have K-D, Alabama. You are welcome. Someone here is a Leo. So you have EF. You have H, Sagittarius. You have an RY. Someone's name could be Ray. Virgo. You have MA, Mag. Someone's name could be Margaret Mags. Anything else? Let's go. You have a Capricorn Q Leo Z. And this is sticking out a W. Okay. Karmic trying to block God's truth. Okay. Someone here could be a Gemini. Anything else? Thank you, everyone. Thank you for being here. So this broken angel, karmic fallen angel, didn't heal and the silence came in reverse, is a false flame. They're the ones who have been calling you. Someone could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Travel around the world. And someone could be in the ox, Chinese year, 69, 61, 73, 85, 97, 2009, 2021. They failed their mission. So, all right, that's all I have. I hope this helps. I'm sending you guys so much love. Keep praying for one another. Please pray for the collective. Some of you are watchers, so when you wake up, you're being guided to pray. Keep the light, a white candle on now until eclipse. And keep clearing your house, clearing your energy. All right, I'm praying for you. I'm sending you guys so much love. Bye, everyone.